Hey there, guys. How are y'all doing? You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't done a story time with Eric and Makus. So pull up a seat and let's do a short story time with Eric. And we're going to talk a little bit about a subject we've touched on before, and that's bricks. But we're going to talk about a little bit different angle of it. And that's what we do to the bricks once they're on the house. Now, I kind of did a little bit of research, and I'm not, we can't really credit anybody with inventing this because pretty much as soon as we started figuring out how to make bricks, whether that was from mud or fired clay, <clears throat> we started figuring out ways to hide the bricks with plaster, be that mud or some type of cement-based plaster. And that's what we're doing to the home that I'm about to show you now. But there's one big difference in the home I'm about to show you now and what we did a hundred years ago when we plastered a brick home. And that's the reason is because actually homes we build today are not truly brick homes. They are a, more what I would call brick veneer or what's called brick veneer in the industry. A hundred years ago, turn of the century, buildings were built out of pure brick. I worked uh, in uh, a Civil War era building one time that was about five or six stories tall. And it was 100% masonry brick construction. The bottom wall was literally about six and a half feet thick of interlaced interwoven brick to carry the weight of the structure above it. That, that alone prohibited buildings from being very tall for a considerable time. And still they started using a steel structure with a brick veneer. Then that carries on forward to homes today where we build a wood frame structure and then attach a brick veneer to the outside. And then like I mentioned, this home, once we've got the bricks up, then we're gonna plaster it. The Romans, they really took brick, uh, brick construction to new art forms and likewise did much plaster. You'll see a lot of the paintings and tile work. That's almost all done on top of bricks. Anyway, hey, let's go out on the job site and see what we can see out there and I'll show you around a little bit. It's a mess, so don't hold that against me. But we'll go look look anyway. Bye bye now. So here in this video, here you can kind of see what I'm talking about. The green sheathing, that's our zip wall. That's the exterior sheathing of the house. Behind that's the wood frame. You can see the metal tabs, these brick ties. Those are nailed directly to the frame and that's what holds this brick veneer to the home. It's going around the corner. So here you can see where they've finished doing the smear or the plaster. It's a mortar-based smear on this home. Over here it's a little fresher. You can see it's just now starting to dry. And what you're going to see, i got a guy over here around the corner actually putting it on. Let's go watch that for just a minute. You might have noticed we've got a lot of guys setting brick, but only one guy putting the smear on. That's because it's done by hand. If you had a bunch of people doing the smear, each guy's going to do it a little bit different. Each guy's going to have his own technique, and you might get a variety of looks to the home. When we get one guy doing the smear and wiping it down, he's going to use the same technique basically all the way around and be relatively consistent. It's almost an art form. Anyway, Guys, this is Eric and Makus. Y'all take care now. Bye.